Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS and 3LS. Today we're in the Tomcat, showing how to fire multiple Phoenix missiles at TWS contacts while maximising the chance of a kill. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Put the HUD in air-to-air -air mode and bring up the TID repeater. Weapon select up to the Phoenix position. Check missile prep on and mode normal, set master arm on. We're going to put Jester to work in the back seat. First we'll ask him to set an appropriate TID range. Okay. Give him a moment to do it. Get him to put the radar in TWS auto mode. If you already had radar contacts, it'll take them a moment to repopulate. The TID can also show waypoints and other navigation data. The computer will automatically prioritise your contacts. Their priority number will be displayed on the right. Jester will now IFF any contacts and categorise them accordingly. When he does so, you can see range and altitude. These lines show the target speed and direction, and scale range is marked out in 20 nautical mile increments. Now let's set up a couple of bits from the back seat. For oncoming targets, set the missile gate to nose quarter. Turn off the altitude number to declutter so you can see the target priority. Turn on the launch zone display. Now the target stems will shrink as the target comes into range. The dot indicates maximum range, and the dash indicates optimal range. Back in the front seat and you've got the current range, maximum range and minimum range. We've got a third bogey now. As the targets approach, I'll get Jester to decrease the TID range. Copy. The targets are coming into maximum range, but we're going to let them get well into the optimum range to ensure a high kill probability. Targets start to flash as they approach the optimum firing range. More targets are popping up behind. The computer prioritises them while Jester works on the IFF. In the meantime, because we're coming to the inner edge of our optimal firing range, it's time to start shooting missiles. Press and hold the weapon trigger to fire. The contacts get reprioritized and your missile count will decrement. Fox 3. Targets stop flashing once they've been attacked. Fox 3. Priority number gets replaced with time till impact. We've got a couple more bandits. We can fire off our last two missiles. One by one, as the missiles go active, the time to impact will start to flash. Once all the missiles are flashing, you no longer need to support them. You can turn around and head home. Fight's on! We have a bandit, TU-95, 12 o'clock, 16 miles. Bandit is down. Bandit is down. That's six kills for six missiles. The chance of a kill will decrease to around 50% if you're firing from maximum range. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Massive thanks to all my Kofi supporters, and if you found this useful, please share and subscribe to the channel.